Do I regret studying marine biology? As many of you know, I just graduated from Indiana University with a degree in marine biology, and I've been doing a lot of reflecting on it these past couple of months, and so I thought I'd film a video where I discuss my experience, things I wish I knew in the beginning, and what everybody considering it must know. So the short answer to this question, no. <laughs> I could not have made a better decision. However, this might not be the case for you. A lot of people do end up regretting it because they are not aware of the things I'm about to share with you in this video. And while I don't regret it, there are a lot of things that I wish I would have done differently. So hopefully my experience and perspective will help you decide if studying marine biology is the right path for you. Alrighty, so the first thing that you must understand is the interdisciplinary nature of marine conservation. Before beginning my first semester at IU, I knew my overall goal was to protect the oceans, yet I was uncertain of the educational approach I should take. And so I went to an advisor who drew out a diagram for me. She began by explaining how there is more than one approach to protecting the ocean. There is the scientific research approach, there is law and public policy, engineering and technology, there's business, nonprofit work, societal outreach using social media, and resource management. So as you can see, there is a lot of opportunity in this field. All of these sectors play a major role in dictating the future fate of our oceans. So if you're debating if you should study marine biology, start by asking yourself why. Why do you want to major in marine biology? If you're wise to raise awareness about our oceans and protect it, that is a great reason. However, you do not need to major in marine biology to accomplish that goal. You can accomplish that goal through any other one of these ways. And a lot of people go into marine biology because they think they'll be scuba diving all the time and living this fun and adventurous lifestyle. And that's great if that's what you want. However, that's not how you'll be spending most of your time with this degree. You will be spending most of your time doing research and taking a lot of hard science courses such as physics, chemistry, and math. So major in marine biology if you want to become a scientist. Maybe you're not looking to become a scientist. Maybe you want to take cool photographs and be featured in magazines like National Geographic. If so, consider studying photography or journalism and interning for an organization that publishes media about the ocean. And a word of advice. You don't have to decide what specifically you want to do because that likely will change. Just have a general idea of which route you want to take, whether that be creative or science or law and public policy, etc., and explore everything that that area has to offer because there are even sub-branches to all of these sectors. For example, for scientific research, you can focus on chemistry or biology, and to branch off biology, you can have a focus on mammals, corals, plankton, you get the picture. And here's an important point I want to make. You can embark on more than one of these things. Like me, I'm doing business, media, and science. And who says you can't switch routes halfway down your career? We are now living in an exciting time in history where you do not need to go to college to obtain knowledge or learn a skill. I'm learning a lot about video editing, Photoshop, and business through Google, YouTube, and books. And I use those skills when editing my underwater photography and creating content for my brand. I know choosing a route can be a very hard thing to do, but here's a great quote that may help you in the decision making process. Do not ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. After learning all of this, I understood how essential it was for me to develop a big picture perspective on marine conservation. So I decided to generalize in every single one of these areas while also specializing in the scientific research sector because that's something that really sparked my natural curiosity and it's much harder to teach yourself that information. Lucky for me, I got to choose the courses for my marine biology degree because I created it through the individualized major program at my school, which gave me the freedom to decide which courses I wanted my degree to comprise of. And it was through my Bachelor of Science degree in general biology that I became a specialist. Now, it is important to know that most marine biology programs already have the courses laid out for you and they focus solely on science and research. They don't adequately broaden your awareness on the multiple disciplines influencing marine conservation. So if you want to become a generalist, you have to take the initiative to do so yourself. Another good point that I want to make with this is that you do not have to pay out-of-state tuition to receive a good education in marine conservation. I managed to save money and receive a great education in marine biology in a landlocked institution hundreds of miles from the ocean. 
I then used the extra money that I saved to experience opportunities abroad. I was able to take classes and conduct research in Australia and Florida where I got to experience all the adventures and hands-on work I always associated with marine biology. I joined professors in the field and got to collect scientific data which I purely enjoyed. What I didn't enjoy, however, was writing scientific papers. Not only did I not enjoy it, but I discovered that not many people were reading them. It was during COVID that I contemplated what I was doing with my degree because at that point it involved mainly science courses, learning from textbooks, and regurgitating that information. I concluded that I was interested in science, but not interested in being a scientist. The modern world of science is all about stats and computer models, and quite frankly, that's just not me. The public doesn't want to hear more stats and facts. What they need is understandable pieces of visual evidence and stories that grab them by the gut. With this, I realized that the ultimate key to getting the public involved in conservation is getting them to love it. And the way I want to accomplish that is through photography, storytelling, and videos. And so I decided to switch from the research route to the creative route. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take the science and research route. I'm just sharing my perspective and what I experienced. I don't regret starting off with the science route at all because I like having a deep and fundamental understanding of it and finding creative ways to share that with the world. The point I want to make with this is that traditional marine biology programs will not teach you how to be creative or how to think this way. And when you are searching for a job, experience is the main factor that will stand out, not necessarily the university you attended or the grades you earned. It's the skills you acquired through the, through the experiences that you've had. My final word of advice for you is to get a mentor. Find a person doing exactly what it is that you want to do and get them to help you out. Success leaves clues and you'll be surprised at how willing others will be to help you. Alrighty, I hope you got some value from this video. If so, please let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button before you go, and I'll see you soon for the next video.